Hey guys, Andy Gideon here in a different location, obviously. This is not my home. It's a little place where I keep my overflow of toys. As you can see, I have a little bit of a problem. But the reason for this video is I have a couple things I wanted to show you. Besides some of the overflow projects that I have, I picked up a couple new airplanes uh, yesterday. One being the Bud Nosen P-51, and also a Bud Nosen Cessna 310. So i got the fuselage and the wing. Well, fuselage for the 310 and the wing for the Mustang right there. And I know I won't be able to fit it in the image, but look at that monster. Who in their right minds would build a 120-inch wing and make it one piece? Good grief. I don't know. And I also have a top flight Corsair sitting there. Uh, the fuselage was minor damage. The wing was totally destroyed. And I picked up a wing for another giant Corsair where the fuselage was destroyed and the wing was minor damage. So eventually I'll mate those two together. But it looks like next year's project, or for this coming winter, is going to be the Nose and Mustang. It has a very unique power system. It's a G62 with a scale exhaust. Unfortunately, I'm going to want more power than that G62 is going to provide. So that's going to come out. But uh, this plane is incredibly light. I mean, it is ridiculously light. So I'm sure the G62 would fly it just fine, but if I'm going to have a big P-51 like that, I want it to be a rocket ship. And it has the original, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these are the Likes retracts. It's got the electric motor in front. Um, unfortunately, it they don't work. This gear here, no matter what I do, I can't get it to rotate. And this one here... I think the, uh, trying to see down in there, but it, either, anyways, it just, it doesn't work. And I'm not going to mess with them. I'm just going to yank those out, put Robarts in them. I'll keep the doors because the, the doors are a nice little touch and they still work just fine. So I'll end up stripping this plane completely down, glassing it. So it'll make it a little bit heavier, which is okay because I'm going to put a big engine in it. Most likely a uh, DLE-85. But the nose in 310 is in pretty good shape. It's all covered, um, which I don't mind. For those of you that have been watching my videos for a while know that I have a, I would say a love-hate, but actually just a hate relationship with paint. It's just... Uh, hasn't been working out for me lately, so the fact that that's already covered and ready to go, okay with me. The engines that came on the 310 are old Taurus engines, and I'm trying to see what size they are. They're smaller. They used to be glow engines. They've been converted to gas, and they're also counter-rotating, which makes it nice for a twin but I don't think they're going to be enough motor for this airplane. Even though it is incredibly light for its size, I just have a, have a feeling that they're just not going to be enough power. But who knows? I've been, I'm trying to look for some markings on it so I can figure out what size they are. I think they're 1.6s or 1.3s or whatever. I don't know. Huh. Ignition still work. So I'm debating on just getting that flyable. All I really have to do is put a receiver and a receiver battery in it, and it should be good to go. I mean, the wiring is all janky and old. The servos are old, but it's been flown. It does fly, so I'm debating on just trying it the way it is just to see if these motors will fly it. Then uh, down the road, I can strip all the wiring out, as I usually do with these older airplanes, put new wiring, new servos in it, and go from there. But just wanted to show that to you. 
kind of my own little man cave here. So that's about it. See you guys later.